Ah, I finished scanning, so resistance contacts plus one. Oh, it gives me an extra contact, like an actual an actual extra contact. That's that's new. I feel like that's new. Uh I don't have a tower here, do I? I don't. Do I need a tower here? Uh, I think I do. I think I do. What is this? If I make contact. 160 intel. Okay, so yeah, I don't have one in Europe yet. I could put it here. There's no reason not to. I could put one here, which will allow me to contact here, and here, and here. Oh boy. Uh, so what if I want to build one? Build a radio relay. 300 supplies? Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, we gonna ignore that for now. Uh, good news is I'm down to four missions. Let's see. Is this one being infiltrated? Yes. Uh, this one? No. Why not? I don't know. This one? Uh, lasts for a long time. This one? Yes. Okay. So we're good. <gasps> Jeez, that scared the crap out of me. Oh. Oh, this is one that is being infiltrated. Uh, extremely light, rescue resistance, free drills. Uh, resistance personnel. What else? Just resistance personnel. Okay. Uh, should I boost infiltration on this? I don't think so. It's already 114%. Who's on it? Okay, there's a ranger, grenadier, assault, technical, shinobi, and specialist. That's a pretty balanced group. I don't think we need to boost infiltration. Now watch, I'm gonna freaking die. Alright, so I'm getting my last person out of here. Uh, things went pretty well. Had some injuries, but I healed them up with med kits, and we were able to finish the mission. Oh lord, I just punched my desk. Um, <coughs> oh lord, I'm sick and dying. Um, yeah, it took a lot of turns. The mission timer was really long, and I don't know why. Um, but it allowed me to pull off a strategy I don't usually use, which basically... I was using my normal strategy of having my shinobi scout, um, but I saw two groups that were just out of vision range of my my main group while I was fighting a different group uh, but instead of running forward to try to finish off that group I knew that there were other groups that would see me so I just ran backwards and put everyone on overwatch and then when they ran forward to shoot me <laughs> I was able to shoot them uh, and then uh, after that the other groups both saw me once but it's okay they're small groups didn't matter uh, yeah, one guy got wounded pretty bad. He got flanked and shot, and then I healed him, and then he got uh, beat up by the um, the Archon. I think it's called an Archon. Yeah, he like walked up and smacked me in the face with a stick that he carries. Anyways, let's go back to base. Okay, everyone made it back. Uh, this guy looks like he didn't actually... It wasn't considered as taking that much damage. I guess he did have armor as well. What is untouchable? Ooh, that's really good. Even area of effect attacks? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, close combat with during enemy turns. Fire a free reaction shot with your primer open to any visible enemy within four tiles who moves or fires. That's also really good. Bring him on. Gain plus one damage or critical hits for every two enemies you can see up to a maximum of eight. Oh, that's also really good. <laughs> All of these are really good. Uh, so the thing about untouchable is it only works for one attack but that one attack is guaranteed to dodge so that's good uh, close combat specialist is really good because if anybody tries to come up and hit him like in this mission he'll get a free shot on them even though it would have killed him I don't think um, but once I have higher, higher level technology that'll be super good uh and Brigham on is also really good because he I, the one thing I like to do with him is he's running into flank enemies which gives you a really high crit chance plus which killer instinct gives me plus 50% crit damage for the rest of the turn oh it's it gives me 50% crit damage I thought it was 50% crit chance I'm a I'm a troll <laughs> I can't read uh <clears throat> yeah but I think I want close combat specialist or untouchable yeah. It's kind of like lightning reflexes, but for 
defense on their turn. Close and personal. Ooh. There's probably a better a better way to um each shot requires two ammo. Oh boy. Okay. Each enemy? That's okay, that's much better than I thought it was. Uh I thought it was one enemy, not each enemy. So I think I'm gonna take this. <clears throat> I'm going I'm going all offense here, boys. In case you didn't notice. Okay, what about this person? Ranger? Ooh, max level ranger. Kill zone. Take your extra shot against any enemy that moves or attacks within a cone of fire. I like that. Uh, combat fitness. Gain 4 aim, 1 mobility, 2 HP, 4 will, and 4 dodge. That's really good. Um, especially considering her mobility is really low. It's almost worth it just for the mobility. Rupture. What is rupture? Rupture shot grants a large bonus to critical hit chance and ensures that the target takes an additional plus 3 damage from all attacks in the future. <sighs> Okay, so it's basically combat fitness, which is just a general bonus. Uh, kill zone, which is a big, a big AOE chance to kill. Oops, beat the hit, beat the crap out of my microphone. To kill a bunch of low-level enemies or kill heavily injured enemies. And rupture is for focusing down a very powerful target. I feel like I want kill zone. The most powerful targets that I've fought so far are mechs, heavy mechs. Uh, but usually, I'll blue screen bomb them and take control of them, or I'll shut them down. So they're not such a big deal that I need to rupture, I don't think. Three ammo points. I'd rather have kill zone. Uh, use, utilize a squad site? Oh my god, okay. Yeah, we're taking kill zone. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, uh, I don't know. There's probably also a better way to uh, level level each of these. Um, if you're watching now and you're and you're thinking, why did I why did I choose this uh, skill set? I guess instead of doing something different. Um, basically, each level I have no idea what's coming next, so I just choose something that I like at that time. Um, it might work better to go all down the right side, or all down the left side, or all down the middle, whatever. <coughs> oh my god. Can't stop coughing. Um, you know, because they might have more synergy or whatever, so they work better together. Um, but I didn't know that at the time. And, in fact, I still don't know that because I haven't taken the time to look them over. Combat Rush. Uh, that's awesome. <clears throat> I've never seen this PCS before. I picked it up. Uh, so if I kill an enemy, allies within seven tiles temporarily receive bonuses to aim, crit, chance, and mobility. But it's got a five turn cooldown. So that's really good if I remember who has that. And stock, lead auto litter, PSI. Okay. And so VIPs, I don't, I don't know what they do. Uh, I'm guessing they, they go to the... What do you call that? The area on the map? Oh my god. Okay. Alright, I'm back down to one. Only an unstaffed engineer, and I literally have no idea where to put him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because I, I have upgraded a lot of these things. So what if I upgrade this? Can I upgrade this? Nope. Don't have enough supplies. I don't think I can upgrade anything. Can I upgrade this? Nope, it's not upgradable. Okay, let's go back. This? Upgrade? Ooh. But why would I need to upgrade this? Uh, if I upgrade this, it'll give me more staff that I can't use. Uh, what about this? This could be upgraded. No, 60 supplies. Okay. Wait, what? Uh, initial works is power related. Only additional engineer to be staffed here. And Lyrium Conduit is better, but it costs a lot more things. Okay, I'll probably do that eventually. Um, I didn't consider that. Yeah, and that's it. I don't think I don't think I can upgrade anything else. I don't know. Um, anyways, I've been recording for a long time, so I'm gonna uh, stop recording for now. And next time we will 
What will we do? I don't even know. What, what do we have in our event queue? We'll train more rookies to be Psy operatives so we can start sending them on missions because that's going to be interesting. Uh, this guy is going to probably finish his training. I should get at least through all the two day things. We should try to finish the proving ground in our, or the proving ground research in our next, next recording session. Or get to the supply drop. Supply drop would also be good. Yeah, I don't know. We'll do we'll do something. I'll see you then. It's gonna be great.